Hi, I'm Alan Gatsby, sales engineer with West, here to talk to you about our wireless solutions for E911. So we're talking about uh, devices that are on your corporate Wi-Fi network. So not like on the cellular wireless side, but more from the enterprise Wi-Fi network side. So this could be, for example, a, a soft client running on a, on, a, uh, on a laptop, for example. So the way of identifying where these devices are is really essentially where they're connecting to the network. So whenever they connect into the wireless access point, they're going to be authenticated and talking to the BSS ID, or the basic service set identifier, which uniquely identifies each access point. So each access point will have one or many different BSS IDs, depending on the, the, the type of uh, interfaces that the access point has. But essentially what it does is it provides a link between the access point connection and w where the, uh, the laptop is actually connecting to it. So that allows our emergency gateway appliance to identify that this soft client is connected to this wireless access point, and this wireless access point is on the second floor, for example. But because, the wire because things are wireless, they're not physically connected to it, you could be between access points, or you could uh, be you know, roaming to a different access point, or you, you know, on a different floor, for example. So to, com to combat that, what we do is we actually integrate into the Cisco Mobility Services Engine, or MSE, or the Aruba ALE Engine. And what that does is that provides uh, triangulation capabilities to get more granular location data of where that user is located and display a floor plan to your internal security to aid with the actual dispatch and, uh, and collaboration of where the user is. So when a 911 call is placed, the location that's sent to the public safety answering point is going to be the location that's tied to the access point the user is connected to. And then when the 911 call gets routed, routed through, the emergency gateway will actually query out to the MSE or the uh, Aruba ALE or Airwave. And it comes back and it, each access point will report, I've seen this client and its, uh, its signal strength is about this much. So using that kind of calculations, they can provide triangulated position of where the user is located. So let's say the user is connected to this access point on, this, on the second floor and it provides a floor plan image as well as the, uh, the XY position of the user and a, and a confidence score. So what we do is we make that available to your security personnel in, a, in our desk alert screen pop. So they get a screen pop that says Joe's calling from the second floor, they click on the link and we basically pull in all the information from the infrastructure to show the cut into the uh, security personnel where the end user is located. So it'll say it's on the second floor, but there'll be a floor plan image and it'll say he's on you know, in the, the conference room on the second floor, for example. So we make that available to the internal security personnel. And we tie that together with our security notification uh, options and stuff like that to make, it, uh, to make it a little bit easier to identify where the user is and start co coordinating with the first responders to actually deliver aid and stuff like that. So essentially, that's how the solution works in a nutshell. It always kind of comes down to identifying the location based off which access point they're connected to and then using the triangulation capabilities to provide a more detailed picture down to your security personnel so they can collaborate and uh, coordinate with the, uh, the first responders.